I've spent my whole life in struggle with and fighting for things um, that I know are possible in this world. And Woodstock is the example of what is possible in this world. Woodstock Sanctuary is a place where we can really realize the values that I think are necessary for our planet. I think it provides a model of what humanity could be at its best. And it's not something that we achieve every day, but it's something that we strive for, is holding up those values. I am proud of the high standard of caregiving that we have for our animals under the direction of Hervé. And I am saying that because I know that our caregivers are humble and they will not brag about themselves and the work that they do, but it is a great joy every time I get to tell folks about the high standard of care that we offer to the animals as they live out the rest of their lives in safety and dignity. A lot of our residents are living their golden years. A lot of them are on hospice care. And I think that the level of medical care that we give them is so, so important. And the fact that they are able to live out their lifespan, their natural lifespan, loved and cared for and looked after is as difficult as it is because we have to say goodbye to so many of our family members. Um, it's one of the most rewarding parts to actually be able to see their lives like fall through till the end. We're constantly thinking of new ways uh, and, and innovating to take care of the beings that are here in our care. Um, and I'm really proud of that. It's a lot of work and uh, we literally work around the clock to make that, make that possible. But I'm also really proud of how we've been trying to figure out how to take the work that we do here um, that is so compelling to the 10,000 people a year that come and visit and take it off site at the sanctuary because we know that when people meet the animals here, they, they're forever changed. So what we've been really trying to do is take that experience and, and take it to people that may never come to Woodstock and may never meet a farmed animal. And I think we're starting to do that through really innovative campaigns. Consider the Egg is our latest advocacy campaign that we launched on National Egg Day. We have a website for it, considertheegg.org, and it's a 100% illustrated website that kind of takes you through the story of what a hen goes through, whether it's in the mass production egg corporations or it's with backyard hens. We take questions that are commonly asked and answer them, and we also invite people to learn more about the hens that live at Woodstock Farm Sanctuary. Not only do we hope that with this campaign that people stop eating eggs and understand how terrible the egg industry is, but we also want them to know how wonderful and awesome and great hens are. We got a call the first week of June that there were these two little piglets that really needed our help. And they were found on a kill pile at an animal auction. So these little babies were there because they were both the runts of their litters and they should have been about 20 pounds and they were under five pounds. So this woman who was at the auction went and, and grabbed them and two other piglets, um, not knowing what she was gonna do with them and just walked out of the auction house. And she called a rescue partner of ours, Rancho Relaxo in South New Jersey, um, and dropped them off there. What's hard about doing an animal rescue is witnessing what the animal looks like when you first meet them. When we met Marsha and Harvey and the two other piglets, they were so small, they were weak, they were sick, and they, when meeting us, they were suckling on our fingers, missing their mothers. It's heartbreaking to know that they won't ever see their mothers again, but it's inspiring to know that at least, at the very least, we can provide them lifelong care and sanctuary and show them love. They are the 
biggest handful right now. They're way over 100 pounds. They gain about half a pound a day. So we're really excited to, to put them in with um, the rest of the pig herd and, and just take care of them their entire lives. They're, they're pretty special. I hope that our organization in years to come will become a hub of activity to really honor and center the voices of those who have been working on the front lines for years, but who have not been recognized for the hard work that they are doing. I'm talking about folks of color, about queer and trans and gender non-conforming, gender non-binary folks, um, and really creating a space for us to work with them and to follow their lead in creating the change that we need to see in this movement. The more that we can take this cause of boycotting animal agriculture to different communities, the more that we can embrace other social justice movements, the more that we can continue to tell the stories of the animals that are rescued here through campaigns, through social media, through innovative storytelling, through just opening our doors to all sorts of people the more we can move the needle towards a future where animals are not farmed um, and to where we don't have to worry about whether or not, you know, what the planet looks like in 50 years. And I, I think that what we're, the work we're doing is an integral part of that. And we're changing the world. And it doesn't always feel like it every day, but it, it, that's all we can do. Um, and I think Every day more and more people are getting it. And every day I see more and more news coverage about how we have to stop farming animals in order to literally save the planet. Um, and every day people come to Woodstock Sanctuary and to other sanctuaries and they meet these beings and they realize that they cannot just see them as objects anymore. And I think we're just gonna expand that in 2020 and beyond and just continue to hold up, you know, the radical empathy, the justice and the equity for the residents here um, in honor of the 70 billion animals that will lose their lives on farms this year and in honor of all the people that are also suffering on this planet. We'll just, you know, keep moving forward. <laughs>